Uh, the inspiration for this video is uh, Dr. Christos Ballas. He's now back in the Arlington, Virginia, Maryland area, somewhere in there. And uh, when I, we've worked together for years. He's done classes with me, he's done month longs, he's set classes up for me. But when I don't know something, I call Chris. Uh, his brother was in a class with him and, and got irate as brothers can with each other. And he said, you're the stupidest intellectual I know. And Chris is an intellectual. He reads a lot. Uh, just an example, we were walking out of a bookstore one day, and there was a book this big, and it was on Andy Warhol. And he said, I'm probably the only person on the planet that has read that book cover to cover. And I said, oh, interesting. And we were walking down the steps and of this bookstore, and he stopped, and he turned around. He was in front of me, and he turned around, and he said, Linda Lee is L-I, right? I said, yeah, it's, it's my friend Linda Lee. She, and he said, no, 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 no. He said, you've talked about Linda Lee for years, about and her connection with Andy Warhol and all these things, and that she's a friend of yours. He said, I have always heard Linda L-E-E. -E. And I said, how do you know this? He said, well, she's mentioned in his book, Linda Lee. This is how the minutia detail that this guy can go into, right? So I call him, uh, and I talk about my son's knee. My son tore his knee up just a little while ago. Not skiing, just doing something silly at work. Not even that silly, I guess. But uh, I told him, you know, it was nothing traumatic. And I said, and I told him a story. There's a couple of videos earlier that talk about I gave my son a flower remedy and he had 70% range of motion within a couple of minutes. I know, quack, 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 hippie shit. That's what my son says. But uh, and Christos immediately says, what? What was the remedy? I said, it's not important. It, it's what tested up at the time. He said, okay. But I got talking. I said, okay, what, do, what else can I look at? What else It's not, it, it might be a little bit invasive, but, you know, I don't, he's 21. I don't want to have him to have knee problems for the rest of the life. I want to get this thing fixed. And he said, there's a new thing out there called pro, or something that I've been reading about pro, called prolotherapy. And I've started looking at it, and we're looking into it next. But the point of the video is, I call Christos. And he gives me answers. And he is an intellectual. But the new phrase I've come up with is he's a functional intellectual. And I've talked about an intellectual. I talked about the intellectuals that were with us on the retreat, the Zen retreat, the Zen Buddhist retreat in Korea. And they had so much book learning that one man uh, who is a double doctor, uh, all, all the Zen master asked us to do was a couple of things. One was, he said, trust me. And I thought... I don't have any evidence not to trust him. He looks like who he says he is. And one of the double dogs came up and said, I'm not going to trust him. I said, what? He said, I just don't think he is who he says he is. His mind got in the way. His intellect got in the way. His knowing got in the way. And he couldn't do one simple task. Christos is a functional intellectual. I'm considering that I may be one. I don't consider myself an intellectual. But I'm fairly functional some of the time. But it's a new phrase for me. Uh, I'm going to use it in my books. Uh, bells are going off, so I'm going to let you go. Have a fun evening. www.micpeakperformance.com